strolling to the party like my name is El Nino, while I'm hanging out drinking in the back of an El Camino. Welcome to Canonical Chronicle episode 7 million and 2. Let's get into it. Now we're not really one to review products on the Canonical Chronicle, but this latest update from the Yoast SEO plugin for WordPress is outstanding. You can now easily insert FAQ structured data into the pages within the interface. So why is structured data so important? To answer that question, I present to you this mobile SERP for the query London to Paris. So firstly, you're going to be scrolling so much that you will visibly age before you actually get to the first organic result. And then we get these three answered questions and this button that has show more. When clicked, it expands to totally take over the page. Now people think this is great as it takes up more SERP real estate, but I personally think we need to wake up and stop trading in short-term gains for long-term fails. Let me give you an example. I done a search for hemorrhoids yesterday for work, and there was so much information on the SERP that I had a zero click experience or should I say I had a multi-click experience but I didn't actually click away from Google. Talk about a massive pain in the ass. Remember when Bing announced that you can submit URLs via API? Well the API call was a touch slow with only one being allowed at each time. Good news you can now blast through 10,000 at once. So that's pretty cool I guess. Now I can get my URLs indexed in a search engine only used by old people who don't know how to change their browser and also people using Microsoft Edge because they're locked into a corporate IT policy. Great! If you've noticed a bunch of mobile traffic disappearing, it may be because it is yet another Google bug. How fun. Computer says no. Google have come out and said it's a known bug and they're looking to fix it. I don't know about you, but is it because we've got so much news nowadays or maybe search is becoming so complicated, but there's been an unprecedented amount of bugs from Google over the last six months. I suppose it's all part of running a technology company, but when billions of people are using your service, it just goes to show that these tiny little issues can really blow up. Let's stick to the classic answer. It's not a bug, it's a feature. So that is the June algorithm update finally done. So how did you do? Did you get a big old Google slap? Barry! Barry, what's going on here? Oh, sir, I'm arrested. Oh, oh. Or have the algorithmic gods looked kindly upon you and blessed you with good fortune and you're now going for one of your daily swims in your newly acquired mountain of money? Now we don't have a massive data set at Type A, but from what we can see, there are a couple of things that all the sites have had in common that have been affected. Sites with good content clustering and smart URL patterns have all seen an increase. Sites with horrific technical issues that were previously held up by a really strong backlink profile have went down considerably. Sites with high degrees of content cannibalization and poorly organized content have also went down quite a bit. Now, our analysis is far from scientific, but please do subscribe to this channel as we'll be posting a special winners and losers video at the end of the month with a deep dive into exactly what's happened. In a recent webmaster hangout, banana aficionado and yogurt emperor, Google engineer, John Crunch Corner Muller, has said that Google do not use any authority metrics. In general, Google doesn't evaluate a site's authority. Right, so the way to read into this particular riddle is that they don't have a hardline metric for determining authority like the backlink tools have. However, they do use a culmination of factors to weigh up if a document should be ranked above another. 
one of those metrics will be how the overall domain presents itself, i.e. its authority. As an SEO, what is this magical thing that you can do to build authority onto your site? You guessed it, build some links. That's everything for this week's Canonical Chronicle. We hope you liked it. Please do follow us on social and don't forget to subscribe. But until next time, we will see you later.